Hello, friend. Oh, uh, uh, just checking the carburetor. Oh, well, uh, you'll be interested in this end over here. Must have been a woman. She left her sewing machine in the trunk. Say, uh, I can tell you know an awful lot about automobiles, my friend. Oh, thank you. Now listen, uh, don't you think that this this car is a little too light for you? Huh? <laughs> I think you're right. Let's see something a little heavier. Uh, yeah, uh, let me show you this over here, huh? Now, this is, uh, of course, a uh, sporty convertible, but you don't want that. I got another car over here I uh, want to show uh, Excuse me. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't I want a sporty convertible? Well, I don't know. I just uh, thought a man of your type wouldn't want to drive around with his top down. Oh, I see. You think I'm too level-headed for a car like this? <laughs> well, you see, the fact of the matter is, I'm buying this car for my young niece. What a coincidence. This car belonged to a young niece of an old lady in Pasadena. That's right. She only drove it to the 4-H club meetings once every month. Oh. Well, then it must have had excellent care. Sure. But I tell you, I'd like to drive it around the block, though, before I buy it. All right. Well, I got a better idea. Why don't you buy it first? Then you can have pride of ownership when you drive it. Huh? Huh? But I want to know if the motor is in good running condition. Huh. Well, I'll turn it off and we'll take a look at it. Has the motor been on? Well, yeah. Why, it's so quiet, I've hardly heard it. Hardly? You mean you could hear it at all? Just barely. Hmm. I guess I'll have to knock $25 off the price so you can get a new muffler. Hmm. Um, how much you want for this car? Oh, wait a minute. I think I better find out if it's available. Hey, Blanky! Yeah, boss? That call from Hollywood. Mr. Grant's business manager come through yet? Hollywood? Cary Grant? You said it. I didn't. <laughs> Mr. Grant is doing from Europe today, and his manager is sure he wants the car. Sorry. Now, wait a minute. This car is on your lot, which means it's for sale, right? Right, but I already promised it and to someone else. And if I give you a legitimate offer, you've got to take it, right? Well, I'm afraid he's got you, boss. <laughs> OK, but you got to meet the price. What is it? 900 bucks. Done. <laughs> darn, 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 darn. <laughs> I've only got 375. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you have the car for $375. On one condition. What's that? You gotta promise not to tell Cary Grant. It's a deal. Okay, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> so long, Pally. So long. So long. <laughs>